Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Okay, so uh, Libby from Meister Tarot did a reading uh, the other day where she was asking if Donald Trump has offered the VP position to multiple people and done it kind of on the down low, like, I'm going to ask you to be the VP, but don't you tell anybody, okay? It's just between us. And... <laughs> <laughs> when she said, and then that he then then offered it to multiple people, and as I was hearing the questions, like, oh yes, absolutely, <laughs> and then I had this vision of Celebrity Apprentice or The Apprentice, where he could just bring in all these VP candidates into the room and then just bug them and say, hey, you know, I want you to be my VP candidate. What are you going to do to, to prove to me that you're the best choice for VP candidate? And then, you know, pit them all against each other and, and watch the knife fight that is, uh, that is people struggling to be the VP. Um, and when I thought about this, now, when I've read before, I was reading on Nikki Haley and I, I got a hit that Nikki Haley might be offered a VP because she's got money. Um, uh, people have asked about Elise Stefanik, and I wasn't getting it quite so much. I got Christy no more than uh, than Elise Stefanik. And then there's Tim Scott. You know, literally, dude, <laughs> nothing wrong with being a gay man, even if you're not out of the closet yet, Mr. Uh, 30-year-old virgin or whatever he is. But now he's got himself a girlfriend out of nowhere, and now he's engaged to this girl. Um <laughs> Almost like, you know, I can't be the VP unless I've got a wife type of thing. Now, this is my second attempt at this video. The cards are already shuffled. I was uh, literally laying them out and then I hit pause because I wanted to make sure I knew Tim Scott's name and I stopped the video. <laughs> so this is a repeat. I have not shuffled the deck. The first two cards, I know what they are. Actually, the first... I think the first two cards... I can't remember if I looked at the bottom of the deck, but it was all coming across nicely. And I want to read on it some more. I guess the last thing I had forgotten that I had before was the snark. Oh, my God. If I, <laughs> if I were Nikki Haley, which I'm not, but if I were, I wouldn't be as nearly a horrible person as she is, at least from her politics and her social standing point of views. Uh, and I'd have much nicer, longer, lusher, dark hair, and I'd really rock a blue dress. But putting all those fantastic traits aside... Um, I would totally be going after Donald Trump's ego and his masculinity. He calls her bird brain. I'd be calling him chicken. I'd say, come on, let's have a debate. I'm a bird brain. You can't beat a bird brain in a debate. What's the matter, you chicken? Come on, be a man. Be a man and debate me. You know, I'm just a dumb old woman. What do I know about anything? You know, I would just totally emasculate him. And I don't think women are dumb, by the way, but I would just taunt him because he and his knuckle dragging followers would like to think that men are superior to women in every way, shape and form. And so taunt him, taunt him, bring him up on the bait stage. Watch him go full drunk uncle on you. So anyways, entertainment purpose only. Come on down. Has Trump offered the VP position to multiple candidates by now? And again, these first two cards I've already seen. The first one, you'll start understanding why I didn't want to reshuffle here, is the seven of coins. He's evaluating the talent. He's got to see, okay, my VP's got to bring value to my campaign. And mind you, when I say bring value to my campaign, I don't mean like they have to have an agenda and um, help, help with, with policy. It's who's got the most cash? Because I got lots of bills. I've got legal bills and political ads to run, and I need the money. Which, again, is why he's so pissed off that Nikki Haley hasn't dropped out of the race yet. Because he has to continue to spend money on the primary. He has to spend it on advertising, and she's going to just... She's got the, the backing of the Koch brothers and other super PACs. So she can just inundate him with, um, with attack ads. And he's got to respond because he's Trump. Of course he has to respond. And he doesn't, he's, I don't think he's got the money for a long-term fallout brawl like this, which is why he's pissed that she's not dropped out. I also think he's having a hard time raising money. He's, I think he's, he, she's out, out raising him and this is causing him concern. Crossed with the two of cups. Who am I going to offer this plum position to? Who, who best 
represents my brand and his brand being self-enrichment and money that I'm going to get to this. Yes, I did look at the, the bottom card before. Four of Swords. He's not going to let anybody know publicly who he's evaluating and who he's made offers to. But I assure you, he has made offers. And he's told people, keep it on the down low. If you blab, I'm going to deny it, say that you're a liar, and then people are going to turn on you. But I'm guessing he's offered at least to three people. And here's the fourth. The fourth person is who he wants. But then he's going to work with these other three people to enrich him. Because maybe he'll change his mind. Who is who his pick is today may not be his pick. Um, may not be the person he's picked right now. Again, the, the people that I could see. I could see Christy Nome because she's got the uh, she's got looks and uh, he thinks that she would be a good uh, optical partner for him. I could see Elise Stefanik. She's been a uh, a trumper. And I believe she's bringing money with her too. And, you know, he I don't think she's as good looking as Christy Nome, but, you know, Donald Trump looks at the optics. That's that's his jam. Um, it could be uh, Tim Scott. And that's why I'm, it does get your mouse off the stop button. <laughs> it could be Tim Scott because he might want uh, the black vote. And, um, you know, he's got a, a, a fiance now. So he's Tim Scott's working on those optics because I guess the Republican Party likes you to be married if you're going to be, you know, a senator or a vice president candidate or something or a presidential candidate. And then there's always Nikki Haley because uh, Nikki Haley's voters have flat out said they're not going to support Trump. And Trump basically say, I don't want you to support me. I don't want you as thing as a as a voter or supporter of mine. But there's no way he can win the general election without uh, that subset of people that would vote for Nikki Haley, that would never vote for Trump. So I could see him offering the VP position to Nikki Haley because he needs those votes to get into the presidency. Plus, she's got a huge war chest. I should move my hands when I say that. <laughs> she's got a lot of money <laughs> coming in. I'm sure Donald Trump's very interested in her war chest, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um he wants that money. He wants the financing, the financial backup of the American oligarchs and such. And um, Nikki Haley, again, as I've done in a previous reading, she's one step away from the presidency. He's going to be convicted of all these felonies. His health is lousy. He's going to stroke out or have a coronary or something. And now she's the president. If she can just keep him alive through November and somehow steal a win on this election. If she doesn't get the nominations flat out herself so trump evaluating the talent making offers made multiple offers keeping them secret threatening to basically deny anybody who says that they've been offered something in the past i had eight of cups again in the past we've got the eight of cups um walking away this is trump not being re-elected back in 2020 and all the um all the mayhem that's come out since then. You know, the election's stolen and the insurrection. Uh, had Trump just not gone with the stolen election line and he just walked out of office, there'd be almost no investigations. The only things that would have been out there would have been Mar-a-Lago documents. If he leaves the documents there and just left the office, he wouldn't have the Mar-a-Lago documents case. He wouldn't have the Georgia Rico case. He wouldn't have um, the January 6th insurrection case. The only thing he would have dealt with was the Letitia James civil trial in the E. Jean uh, Carroll civil trials. But he couldn't just walk away. That's not his style. Current situation is the Page of Swords. <laughs> he wants somebody who, who will be a little firebrand for him but not somebody who will challenge him. He wants a page. Somebody, you know, I'd like to say Marjorie Taylor Greene would be exactly the type of person that he wants. Somebody who's not too bright, 
not overly ambitious. Oh, she's ambitious, but it's more like in fealty to Donald Trump. Marjorie, go attack those people over there. Don't worry about the consequences. Yes, sir, boss. That's, you know, it's that kind of mentality that, that he wants, kind of a rookie type of thing. Um, but also, as I look at the underneath card, the Four of Swords, this is the Page of Swords. This is that initial offer that he's been offering here. He's got four swords he's going to offer, and he's in that he's in the early stages of making those offers. You know, it's not the right time to announce my VP. You're my you're my choice. You're going to be my champion. But for right now, you have to remain a page. You have to remain on the down low. Overarching energy is the Queen of Pentacles. He's <laughs> he's again, he's playing these people. He wants the money. He wants the control. And it's like, you know, this little page just sit on daddy's lap. Daddy will mom or mommy in this case, mommy will tell you when it's time to go. He's just he's just nannying these people. These people that would normally be adults and would announce things just turn into worthless uh, shills for Donald Trump. But again, he wants money. He wants money and he wants somebody who's going to take care of him. Lesson to be learned is the star card. Every one of these people thinks that they're it. They're the star. They're going to be the person that gets Donald over the, over the top. It's funny. There are... It's a recurring theme... I guess in abusive relationships, narcissistic abusive relationships, and Donald Trump narcissistic abusive relationships. Everybody thinks that they're the one who's going to make the difference. All these other people weren't loyal enough, weren't loving enough, weren't dedicated enough, and they're the difference. Now, again, I guess uh, to me, in the case of Nikki Haley, maybe Christy Nome too, they're recognizing that, hey, you know what? I put up with this guy's garbage. I'm the VP. And I'll be the president soon enough. I just have to bide my time. The outcome is the three of wands. <sighs> He's going to delay announcing who his VP choice is. Again, because I think he's playing multiple people against each other and getting them to fall all over themselves to... Um, uh, keep on his good, keep in his good graces, so that when he makes the announcement, it's their name. Mind you, I still think that um, if they honor what he says, and I can imagine him having him sign non-disclosure agreements too. You know, because what would Donald Trump be without a, a non-disclosure agreement? That if they break the, end, the non-disclosure agreement, then they're out. They don't get to that. And he'll deny it. And his, his followers will believe him. <laughs> He's such a god. Why would you trust him? But these people are trusting him. I think, again, I think Nikki Haley is the only... He's probably offered it to her. And she's not interested right now. But I would imagine Tim Scott... Um, Christy Nome and Elise Stefanik, they're all eager. Christy Nome gets out of South Dakota, for God's sake. Elise Stefanik, because, you know, she's had this meteoric rise in the Republican Party uh, and by being a, a full on Trumper. So, you know, she's just excited as, as can get at. And Tim Scott's just not living in an objective reality. <laughs> Oh, he might believe his own press clippings or something like that, but oh, dear God, dear God. Okay, um, waiting for a ship to come in. Will describe describe the gender and the personality traits of Trump's VP? <laughs> How about that? We'll see if it's a man or a woman. That'll differentiate if Tim Scott's going to get it or not. Again, I I was seeing um. Uh, Nikki Haley, but you know, again, this would be the energy right now. Lord knows what it's going to be in March, April. We're, we're not even in February yet. Who brings me the money? 
<laughs> At least that's consistent. <laughs> he doesn't care who it is as long as she's got or he's got the money. Yep, whoever's got the money, you get to win. Congratulations. It's the two of us on the ticket. Oh, you're going to have to work so hard. You know me. I'm a billionaire. I'm used to lots of money. So you're going to be working hard to get that position. Oops, got two cards here. <laughs> okay, you know, I haven't made up my mind yet, but I'll be making it up soon. Keep working hard. Keep going out there collecting the monies and touting my name. So kind of look for the people who are, you know, Tim Scott. <laughs> and underneath is the Six of Swords, <laughs> the going away card, the, the moving out of choppy waters to calmer shores. Um, you know, show me the money or I'm going to send you packing because this is it. Now, the Page of Pentacles, I want to hit back with Tim Scott here. On Trump's New Hampshire rally, Tim Scott's bouncing around in the back of the stage. Uh, and when I first saw it, I was like, is that Tim Scott? It's like, who is that? Who is that guy that's bouncing around there acting like a goofball? Like, you know, like an excited 10 year old kid who, you know, whose dad got him like backstage uh, passes to a, a rock concert and Tom Brady's back there. And he's like, oh my God, I'm a big Tom Brady fan. Boing, 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 boing. And, you know, just, he just loves Donald Trump. And then there's at least Stefanik that's just beaming every time Trump's around her. Oh, my God. Those two are absolutely being offered it. Absolutely. Christy Noem was, you know, working with them and doing all this legwork in Iowa. I think she's in the mix. And then, again, I still think Nikki Haley. <laughs> Nikki Haley, if everything like that, if she, if, if he still... If you can't get a good financial deal with these other three, and I don't think he'll be able to, because I just don't think they're going to bring in the the donors. Um, it's I'm telling you, it's going to be Nikki Haley. He's going to try and negotiate with her. If, you know, basically, if she suspends her campaign, then he'll give her the uh, the VP nod, as long as you, you know you bring your money with you, of course. <laughs> the guy is such a con, man. Con man, get it? All right, we'll leave it here. I'm, I, you've had enough silliness. <laughs> Go drink your coffee. Um, or for those of you who are watching this at 3 in the morning Easter time, for God's sake, get some sleep. Um, thank, you guys. thank you very much. Um, I just want to, again, on uh, my other video, I'd said this. Thank you for folks that have uh, thrown some uh, super stickers and some uh, uh, donations toward the channel uh recently uh I, I really do appreciate it they're they're not expected and it's always a joy to get the little notification hey what's the somebody just gave me four bucks for <laughs> it's like right on coffee here we go <laughs> it's it's kind of like it's like getting the prize the little prize out, out of your cereal box from the 60s and 70s as you might recall um but again thank you very much for your gen generosity i appreciate it um thank you for your likes and your shares and your comments and everything you do to keep this channel uh defeating the youtube algorithm and reaching out to a wider audience to folks that are just discovering this channel for the first time or recently welcome to the channel i hope you found this reading insightful i hope you were humored <laughs> and entertained and i'll catch you on the next one take care